When the light goes out, the troops roll in. Duke Energy plans year round for this. Around 300 Duke Energy trucks from the Charlotte area arrived in Greenville along with contractors, ready to turn on what Irma shuts off. All utility linemen are our first responders. We're out there in the thick of it, in the mess, just with uh, alongside paramedics and fire and law enforcement. Duke spokesperson Ryan Mosier says the biggest problem with this storm is wind. Anything over 30 miles an hour is, is a problem for us operating the vehicles and working in those uh, altitudes. Meteorologists say we could see wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. But there will be times where we just cannot safely uh, restore outages. Uh, we ask for our customers to be patient during those times. I spoke to one lineman who's already been on the road for two and a half weeks helping in Texas and now Greenville. These crews have come uh, with the knowledge they're going to be gone for a while and on the roads. And once they're done in the Carolinas, Mosier says many of them will head south to Florida. Duke Energy has almost two million customers in the central Florida area and they've had some pretty significant impacts down there from this storm. Brenna McDavid, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.